in this lecture we are going to cover the properties of fluids properties of fluids first property is specific weight specific weight we will denote it as by gamma or small w so specific weight gamma is weight by volume that ratio of weight and the volume we know that weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity and volume is v then again we know that mass by volume we know that it is density rho rho into g okay for example for water density of water is 1000 uh, kg per meter cube and uh, g value it is constant for us it is 9.81 meter per second square so the specific weight of water that is gamma water will be 1000 into 9.81 that's equal to 98100 newton per meter cube that is newton per meter cube means weight by volume that is one unit volume one meter cube of water will weigh 9 this much newton weight that is one un unit volume will having weight of this much quantity so next property that we are going to discuss is specific volume okay we will denote it by small v specific volume is uh, nothing but that is mass 1 by density that is equal to we know that we know that density is 1 by mass by volume that is volume per unit mass that is specific density that is unit the unit will become meter cube per kilogram that is 1 k kilogram of the material what will be the volume of the fluid okay the next property that we are going to discuss is third property is specific gravity or we again call it as relative density okay so what is meant by specific gravity it is just uh, small s what is the density of the fluid divided by density of standard fluid so for example it is the ratio of density of the fluid and density of a standard fluid the standard fluid that we are normally considering is water and the density of that standard fluid that's water is 1000 so for example for mercury then uh, the density of mercury is 13 1600 kg per meter cube and the uh, density of standard fluid that is density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so the specific gravity or relative density of mercury is 13600 divided by 1000 that is 13.6 so it is a relative measure so the specific gravity of the liquids will be given in some question papers so we have to get the relative the correct density value from that means it is will be just 1000 multiplied by the relative density in case what is the standard fluid okay in next lecture we will be discussing the newton's law of viscosity